Carroll is the first institution in the state of Wisconsin. We opened for business in 1846. That's two years before Wisconsin became a state. Uh, in our 168-year history, we've had 14 presidents. P. E. McAllister has known 10 of them. He graduated uh, in 1940 uh, with a major in history and minors in English and speech. He was uh, on the track team. He played the clarinet. He was in a fraternity. Uh, he was a senator, and he was just deeply engaged in this place as a student, and he has never uh, cut the cord since then. And while he is the quintessential poster child for liberal arts education, he will tell you uh, that he sold his soul to business. Uh, he went back to Indianapolis after graduating from Carroll, uh, ended up taking over his father's uh, Caterpillar dealership, and that has since uh, evolved into one of the largest Caterpillar dealerships in the country. His fingerprints are everywhere. He has the most prestigious endowed scholarship for students on campus. He's endowed a chair in biblical and religious studies. And at our quarterly board meetings, we meet in the McAllister boardroom. He's only been on the board for 50 consecutive years. So he brings an institutional memory that is unequaled. And he brings a, a, a great deal of talent to the board. He brings leadership to the board. He was chair for 17 years. At board meetings, he doesn't say much, but when he speaks, every single person listens to what he has to say. And he starts his point about 80 miles from where he's gonna end up, and you just watch him wind his way through uh, using his words to get to a point that makes a lot of sense. I mean, he's just, he's been gifted with a mind and, and a way to explain things that, that has been so beneficial to so many people. Well, P.E. is the youngest 95-year-old any of us know. We met here on the Carroll Board of Trustees, and our connection is beyond that to our shared membership in the Presbyterian Church. He is our model as a board member, not just in terms of longevity, but in terms of being able to move through different and difficult times, the spirit that he has brought to everything we do here has been a source of vitality for others. I think new trustees on our board are, we get the orientation on the structure of the school and the spreadsheets and um, the staff, but the real mentoring happens from someone like PE who passes along a depth of commitment. His generosity to this place is uh, unmatched. He has just been a, a great donor to this institution. Um, in fact, there was a time when we were struggling as an institution back in the 90s. Uh, there was no uh, money available for faculty raises. So P.E. McAllister wrote out a personal check so 74 faculty could get a raise that year. He understands at the root of his being that um, his purpose is to give back and to give forward. Generosity is not necessarily an inherited trait, but it certainly is one that P.E. has in his heart, his blood, his bone. And if you're around him for any short period of time, it's contagious. If it wasn't for P.E. McAllister, both in terms of his treasure and his ability to persuade others, uh, this place might not be here today. So he's meant everything to this institution.